Roro, how you doing? Ramona, you want a snack? I have apples, blueberries, strawberries, carrots, cucumbers. No? What about, uh, um, uh, um, I have, uh, fi fig bars. Do you want fig bars? We can go to the grocery store. Have I taken you to the grocery store? I need to take her to the grocery store. We can have sardines. Do you even know what sardines are? We can go to the aquarium. We I can take you to the museum. I, I should have taken you to the museum a long time ago. Have you ever been to Alaska? I should take you to Alaska. Have I given you a fulfilling life? Have I been a good dad? I think I failed as a parent. She doesn't know anything. I don't know anything. I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I Yes! Yes! You can have apples! Having a conversation can feel like a breeze to an adult. But what our adult minds don't realize is how many skills need to fire for a conversation to take place. And they need to fire smoothly for that conversation to flow. It can help to picture what experts call a communication chain, or an image of the sequence of skills that a conversation demands. For young kids who are still learning to communicate, each link in that chain is a heavy lift. And you put them all together and a conversation is a huge undertaking. So what does that mean for us? Well, it can help to know this when you think about if, when, and how to talk to kids, especially kids who are at play. Before you engage a child in conversation, take a pause and think, is now a good time to talk? Look for a sign that they're ready. They may talk to you first hand you something to engage you in conversation, or just look up and make eye contact. If it is time to chat, go slow. Give kids plenty of time to hear you, process what you're saying, and respond. And don't be afraid to repeat yourself. If you don't see a sign that a child's ready to talk, try a different way to connect. You can just crouch down nearby. They'll know you're there, and they'll know that their play matters by you being present. You can also join them in play. Your participation is one of the best ways to show them that their play matters. Finally, you can just wait. Wait until snack time, meal time, or bedtime, and talk to kids about their play. You can ask them to tell you all about the experience or share something that you observed when you watched them play. It will mean so much that you noticed. I need some more time to think about this other question.